Hello, this is Katie and today we're going to be making something a little bit different. So a little bit of knotting. We're going to be making this beautiful leather cord bracelet. So this in the middle here is an autumn jasper bead. It's one that's got quite a large drill hole. So you'll we'll have to look for something with a large drill hole to, um, to make this unless you've got a thinner leather cord. I'll be using some two millimeter diameter. So that's two millimeter across leather so it's a, a nice thick thick ish leather it's not too thick it could be worn by a man or a woman so and i'm going to tell you all the rest of the measurements as we go on so what we're going to need so we're going to need either a pair of scissors or i've got some thread and uh cord cutters um we might need a pair of chain nose pliers just to so that we can pull ends through and such um we're going to need a little bit of glue it's only a little dab it's just that little extra security and it's a jeweler's glue i tend to use um hypo cement uh, for this job and we're going to need obviously our gemstone so look at that's absolutely beautiful and we're going to need a button so the button is how it fastens you see that there so that is how it fastens so i've got a button also again you need to check that your button has holes that your cord or your leather cord or your waxed cord because obviously if you may not want to use leather cord for whatever reason you can use a waxed cord or any type of cord that's got that thickness to it hopefully something that doesn't stretch too much yeah you want to make sure that you've got a button that your cord will go through so the the ingredients are quite simple we've not got a lot a lot going on there so now this one I made straight from sort of a long piece of cord. So I didn't actually measure the amount of cord I needed. So we're going to kind of measure it as we're going along and I'm, I'm going to tell, tell you sort of what measurement makes this size. So I have got quite a small wrist. My wrist um, measures around about probably just six inches around if you measured it tight around my, my wrist. It might even be five and a half actually. So you might need a little bit more um than i use for mine but i'm going to show you how i do it so the length of cord that i'm starting with i'm going for about 50 centimeters okay we're going to be creating four knots uh one triple barrel knot and two double barrel knots so we're going to start off by moving a few things out of the way so we don't need a lot at the moment we just need our hands so we're going to start off with the first knot so let me just take this off very very comfortable to wear so this is your triple barrel knot so um you can do these also without this little bit of cord but i quite like that little bit of cord showing it's a bit more rustic isn't it so and i've made both ends the same so we're going to start off with this loop section so have your bead handy and what we're going to do is we're going to make a loop we don't want it to be very very long so we're just making a loop at one end. I've got the longer part just above the shorter part. And I'm just going to hold this. OK, don't worry too much about the size of a loop. As long as it's got, you know, it's definitely going to go over, over your bead, your, your button, sorry. So what we want to do is I'm going to do this a couple of times before I actually take it through so you can see. So we're going to take this cord here and it's going to come over the top of this little bit that we've got stuck out. So this is the shape that we've got. I've just made this loop around. This cord is going to come over the top of there. Now this is where it looks a little bit tricky. So I've made this loop. We want to keep this open. Okay, so that's just coming up at the back. Now I want to make two more loops around like this, but I want to be at the side closest to my hand. So at the for me, for me it's my left hand side. So I want to make another loop and then another loop. So I've got three loops and so it's going all the way through to the back like so. Now I want to bring this cord through all those loops. OK, and then I'm going to pull it, pull it through. OK, I'm just going to do that again so we can see it. I've just made a little loop at the end. So it's just like a U shape at the end. I'm bringing this over so the top one the one with the length over the top of that little one and I'm going to make a loop I'm just kind of holding it with my finger now I want to make two more loops but close to my finger so one at this side and one at this side so I've got three loops 
okay and now I'm going to bring this tail through those three loops okay let's pull that a little bit tighter now we don't want to pull it too tight to start with and we want to bring this little tail okay so and then it's then where we're going to measure this so that we know we only want it to just going through so I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to make it a little bit loop, a little bit smaller loop this time to kind of grow with as, as you do it. Right, so we'll do it again. I'm going to take it quite short at the bottom there this time. Right, so we're going to go over once, over twice, close to my, my thumbnail, over the third time, close to my thumbnail. It is a little bit tricky. And then we're going to bring that cord all the way through. Like so. OK. And then we're going to tighten this up. OK, now I'm going to bring that one through there. I'm going to take my button and I just only because it will stretch over time, I only just want it to go through a tiny bit tighter. And then we can really tighten things up. Just go back to your button again, make sure it will just go through. And it looks like it won't there, but it will if I pushed it. And I know it's going to stretch with time. So I want to make this really, really tight. And that's why to get my chain nose pliers on that little piece of cord and pull it like so okay so i'm happy with that okay so i've got my first triple barrel knot i'm happy like i just said that i've got the right size for my button so what i can then do is so i just did it by guesstimating okay i'm going to be honest with you I just did it by guesstimate, but we know we've got 50 centimetres, so whatever we've got left, we know how much we've used. So I will be trimming a little bit of this off. I don't need to do that just yet. So for my wrist, I took it to about here. So what I did was I put where the button's gonna, gonna sit on my wrist, and I just scooted round and, think, and thought, there it's gonna go. So that distance on my wrist is in centimetres from the knot to where I'm going to put the next knot five centimeters in inches it is around about two inches okay so so also when I said this is 50 centimeters long that is um what is it in inches 20 centimeters just in case I didn't say it. I'm not sure whether I remembered or not so now what we want to do is we want to create another knot we know where we we were kind of grabbed five centimeters and just keep offering that up to your ruler i know you can't see my ruler it's just in fact i could bring that in no it might focus on that yeah so just keep offering it up to your your ruler and making sure you're keeping your fingers in the right place now this is going to look a little bit awkward but what we want to do is we want to make one loop like so so i'm just going to make a little loop i'm going to hold that with my other finger and then remember, we're going to make another loop exactly the same as we did before, but just two this side. We're going to bring it to this side, so to the left side. OK, don't worry that everything is not tight. So now we've got two loops. I'm holding this in my hand. I'm trying to show you as much as I can. We're going to be doing this a couple of times anyway. And then we're going to come back down. So from the, the clasp side down inside there. And we just want to keep our fingers at that five centimetre mark. And just start pulling this in i'm just gonna it's not closed up i'm just offering up to my ruler again making sure i'm in the right spot like so and then i'm just going to keep tightening this up so i'm just holding it where i want not to be i'm just pulling it through in my hand over here and just going a little bit tighter each time it's almost tight now i'm just going to make sure i've got that five centimeters i just need to schnoodle it a bit down there that's a one a strange word schnoodle there we go so i'm happy that is the right length for me now yep yeah, i've got five centimeters between this knot and this knot now i can pop my bead on so i'm just going to slide my bead on 
that's also going to give you something kind of to push against which is nice now this second knot is a little bit easy because we've got something to kind of push against so i'm going to hold this and again i'm just bringing so if i show you this way and i'm bringing the it away from me and around so if we look at it downwards i've made that little loop and i can just hold that so i've just got a little loop on there again i'm going to make another loop and it's coming round. now this one i could take all the way around my other finger just so i can hold everything and then bring that through okay i'm going to do it again because i know it's it's a complicated one for you, for you to see so i'm going away and around and holding that at the bottom so i've just basically created a little loop there. i'm going to do it really big this time and i'm going to create another loop but i'm going to make sure it's on the inside so closest to my my other hand and then i can bring this all the way through now all i need to do is very slowly make sure you've got no gaps at this side very slowly just draw that in so you can see i'm pulling it with these fingers underneath drawing it in until it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then I can get my knot nice and close like so. So I've got, these are double barrels. That one's a triple barrel because that's got three. Okay, so I want that again. I would imagine it's gonna be about five centimeters. I'm offering it up to my wrist. So this is what you will do to size yours. I know where I want my, my button to be. So I'm just gonna look at this. So it's about five and a half centimetres, but that doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. It's going to be just around your wrist and nobody's going to be looking at the front and back at the same time. That's absolutely fine. So I'm going to create a little knot, but I want it to be on the other side of the button. So I'm just going to let go of that for a minute. I'm going to pop the cord through in one hole of my button, then back through the other way. I'm offering it up to my ruler again. I'm going to bring that ruler in so you can see it. So I just want to scoop my button down a little bit. So I know I've got around about that five centimetre mark. We're going to go for five and a half, that, won't we? So five and a half. I can pull that through. So I know that my button's in the right place now. And now all I need to do is make one of those knots again. So I'm going to turn things around. So I'm working the same way. So the, I'm making my loops with my right hand, my um, and my loops are going towards my left hand. And I'm going to bring this around once, around twice, but it's going to go in between the button and the first loop, and then through both those loops. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go around once. So I'm going to round this. And I've made a loop right around that for that that cord. I'm going to make another loop, and that one is going to sit in between the first loop and the button. And then I'm going to bring the the, the end of the cord through those two loops. And now I just need to encourage this to sit where I want it to sit. So it's a matter of just pulling and tightening, pulling and tightening until you're happy that it's nice and tight okay you can see i've got a good bit of cord left i'm going to see if it fits around which it does i do like things to fit you know nice and snug you can see it fits nicely they will stretch with time as well so that's that's quite nice for me i'm happy with that i know that it will stretch so the other thing that the only other things that you need to do is just give your knots just a nice tighten make sure you're happy with where everything is sat and then what we can do is we can snip off so i'm just going to use my little cord cutters you can snip off right to here i don't like that i like to snip off at a slight angle just so that it's, it looks nice snip off and leave about half an inch or so just because i think it looks a little bit nicer and then you're ready to it, you can wear it obviously for that extra extra little bit of security you can use hypo cement now if you've ever used hypo cement you know it's like a, almost like a needle applicator and it's a nightmare to get back on so we will see what what happens so i'm going to take this off don't ever squeeze this it will come out naturally all by itself 
we're going to pop a little bit on this side of the knot so it's just going to sit just to kind of hold things you're not even squeezing this do not squeeze it loads will come out and you don't need it so i'm just dotting that around just at the base there don't worry about any little bits we're going to just put a little bit there and a little bit there and then this one we're just going to pop it just on the underneath and then you just need to let this dry obviously before you wear it now there's enough on there i will be letting this dry now this is going to be fun can i put the end in here on camera without getting look, loads of glues coming out let me just wipe that this is going to be quite funny to watch uh can it go in yes it's there i got it in it, it is the worst thing so have your lid ready because it will just continue to come out just that little bit and it's very annoying so that's all you need to do the only other thing that you could do which i did with this one is just you see the very end of the cord it's a little bit of a different color can you see that there and you can see it yeah just the inside inside of leather you can use a brown gold any color you like really but i just tend to go with a black and i just dot a little bit just on the end just because i think it looks a little bit nicer than seeing the end of that cord and then your bracelet is completely ready to wear so this one is nice and dry so there we go i absolutely love it now a quick word where all these ingredients came from so as you know if you've watched my preview video previous videos i'm a subscriber to the relax and craft subscription box which is this here it's made by rocks and chains so if you go to rocksandchains.com and every month you get a box with a different medium in so this month has been all about leather cords and and such i'll try and make another video as well um just to give you an example of what you got in this month's box i will, I will have made a little video you got the buttons the thread you got so much cord sorry so much cord loads and loads of cord and you got i mean that was just one of the gemstones you got three of those three beautiful autumn jasper plus i should have got this a bit closer shouldn't i plus we've got beautiful jasper bees we've got beautiful tiger's eye um we've got more jasper ovals we've got some wire to do things with and gorgeous wooden bees so i can't wait to make you another tutorial with this now if you are interested in subscribing you wouldn't get this box because this is july's box but i know every box is absolutely amazing i haven't had anything that i've not liked yet um there is a link below this video and you can find out how you can go about purchasing this box um and hopefully you will and you'll enjoy making i'm really enjoying even though i've been making jewelry for such a long long time um just being given a different medium each week each each month sorry um it it kind of tests you and um sort of makes you remember oh yeah i did that once and i could do that again and i could mix that with that and i, I think it, it's it's really good especially if you lost your mojo a little bit so i hope you've enjoyed learning these couple of um knots the double and the triple barrel knots and just making a really simple bracelet but i think that's so wearable i will be wearing this all summer i'm loving the coconut bead as well the coconut button okay so i will see you again really soon take care keep making so I forgot to add something, didn't I? I said we were going to work out exactly sort of how much you need if you wanted to go bigger. So the complete length of this bracelet, which is going to be from the inside of this button to the end of here, because they're going to sit inside each other. So this is 17 centimetres or six and three quarter inches. So if you want bigger, you just need to add more and it's just again extending in this so you can see how much i cut off so we started off with 50 centimeters and i have cut off about 10 centimeters but i wouldn't go any shorter than that because you kind of need it to to pass um pass the ends through so i would still go 50 centimeters if you wanted bigger but i would just add maybe 
sort of maybe about sort of one another size up maybe four centimeters eight centimeters more is always better just remember you can't add it on once you've cut the cord you can't stick it back on so definitely size up so this for the size that i made it made a 17 centimeter or six and three quarter inches bracelet okay so i hope that makes sense so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video don't forget to click like down below also don't forget to subscribe select all when you click that bell and you will never miss one of my videos this is what we've made today i hope you've enjoyed it see you again soon bye